So it might be slightly different on a tablet layout versus a PC layout because I'm on a PC. But we'll go ahead and see how. It oh, goes. I've got a chat. I've got a. I'm doing on PC too. You do have PC too? Okay. We, well, hopefully. I got it on my phone also so I can quick check, like, where is a layer in this? So first, we're going to make a new canvas. So I'm going to go to File and New. If you're on a tablet or device, there should be an option to make a new canvas. The size doesn't really matter right now, but you know, normally when I'm doing artwork, I like to know how big it'll be in inches, just so that um, if I decide to print it out someday, I kind of know how big it'll be. Um, how do you start all over again? Because I just kind of played around with it and I want to go back to normal settings. There should be, I've got a little like the three bar menu that when it comes up, I can close my canvas and then get a new one. Let's see if I can get this on, whoops. Of course, when you have the free version, you have a commercial every once in a while. So that's, that's a thing. Yeah, so mine was in the lower left corner, a little pull up menu. Mm -hmm. And it let me go back. All right, once you scroll down to the bottom option, it says close canvas, and then it'll take me back to this home screen where I can use um, those buttons to get a new canvas. What is it? Close canvas? Yeah, if I, like, if I want to get rid of that one and start a new one. Yeah. Is that what you meant, or did you want to just erase the one you had? Yeah, no, I want to start a new, start so. Right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if you close that canvas, and it'll ask you if you want to save it or not, and then oh, okay. uh, you can get a new one. Where's the closed canvas option? Um, Let's see if I get one and find it again. Well, on mine, I have a whole bunch of little buttons right at the bottom. I don't know if yours is the same. Uh, let me zoom in on you so I can see. <laughs> And then um, mine was the little three bars where it'll pull up a menu. Uh, three bars, huh? I don't know if it, I, I wonder if I really have an app because I'm on a tablet, but, but um, how do I um, look at just you? This is, oh, I'm, I see your screen on the computer. Mm -hmm. I don't think I see, um, I don't see you. Betsy. Oh, like my face? You can, yeah. I think you can, let me see. I think it, up at the top there's view. Three bars? Pin Option. video? There you are. Okay. Yeah. I, I, can you hold up your phone again so I, I see how it pops up? Yeah. So wherever you have all of your little controls, it, it might not be on the bottom, it might be on the top or something like okay. that. Okay, yeah, yeah. But um, there should be one with just three bars that usually means some kind of pop-up menu. Oh, okay. I scroll to the bottom. Canvases. Clear canvas is one of them. Okay, I'm just yeah. gonna look. Um, but if uh, that doesn't work, you can always just quit the application and then open it back up that's again. True. That's that true. That's true. So I think I'm gonna just close it, and I'm not saving it. So that's okay. what I'll do. Okay, I'm starting new. So. All right. So what was the pixel width and height? Any of that matter? It doesn't actually matter. I was just saying I like to switch it to inches and just know how big it's going to be if I ever wanted to print it out. So I put five by five inches just for today. Okay. Hi, Kristen. I'm using Metabing today. Since, uh, That's all right. I'll fake it. We've got a new canvas. Five by five inches. This will be challenging. And let me open up just a little overview of our goals today. We might not have all of these, honestly, but we'll just see the general. Oh, we're going to do it, yeah. Difficult if my window overlaps the Zoom controls. I have to like send my windows around to make like and get them both on the screen. Okay, here we go. So let's go over here, zoom in. Whoa, not that much though. So when we're doing digital art, let's just take a look at the overview here. Usually it starts out with a sketch, where you get to be messy, messy, messy. 
and it doesn't matter because on a new layer you choose your final line. We would call this inking in the real world. And instead of erasing your sketch, you get to just delete it because it's digital. After that, I go in for a base fill, meaning I just want a color that I can tell if I've colored all the way up to the black line or not. Because if I start with like, you know, his black fur, because he's, you know, black, so like, why didn't I just start with black? Well, I might go over the line and not know it, because black on black is hard to see. Same thing with white. Oh, why didn't I start with like this gray of his fur? Well, then it's kind of hard to see if I didn't go all the way up to the line. So on my base fill, I usually pick a color that is wild. And then we end up with our local colors. So that's our general step-by-step -step process. We're gonna start with just sketching, do some lines, fill it up, and then do our final colors. So I'm gonna get a new piece of paper, a new canvas, which is about five by five inches. Um, Betsy? Yes. What button do you use the new, new? You, get to, uh, you can hit command N if you want to, N for new, or you can go up to file and new. But isn't there a, uh, isn't it, isn't there a, uh, something on the toolbar that you could use? That's for layers. It's not for a new piece of paper. Oh, okay. So first you just need a piece of paper. Okay, so file. Yep, yeah. so we file, it's usually right at the top for new. Yep, got it, got it. And you want five five by something? I said five by five square, just because it's easy. Okay. Yeah. So then we're going to leave find... and come back. What's that? Oh, I think um, Kristen had to log out and log in again. Oh, okay, she's got yeah. technical difficulties, got it. Okay. So for our sketch, we want to try to find the pencil or brush tool. On the app, it's at the bottom with all my buttons. It has, let's see, I wish I could zoom in on my phone. I don't think that I can, but it looks like a little paintbrush. Pick your favorite color to sketch in. I'm gonna go for purple. And then Mickey, how do you change your brush from pencil to pen or airbrush? Like how do you change that? Uh, you go to uh, the, the brush, what's that say? Brush, pen, brush, and then it says pencil like all the way in the bottom uh, okay. left. Got it, got it. I so have pencil, is that okay? Just pencil? Yeah, pencil's great. So you can see your little window here if you're on a PC, if not, if you're on an app where it says pencil at the top, you just click that and it'll give you all your options so that you can find the pencil. Thank you. There's Kristen. So let's start sketching kind of our circle that we would do just like in real life. Get something that's kind of circular. And let's give ourselves a nose line, a line of symmetry that goes right down the center vertically. And we'll give ourselves an eye line. That's where we'll be placing the eyes. Spoiler alert. I'll actually make that file available to you guys in case you want to look at the Figaro that we're drawing. Let me get back. Good, in. I'm in class. No. Hey, let's see if I can share a file from my computer. There we go. So in the chat, if you want to download the file I just showed with the steps for Figaro's face. It's available for you. I'll go back to my drawing program now and start with those eyes on the eye line. So I'm going to squish 
a very tall oval right into that quadrant. And you can add the iris and pupil if you like. And then I'm looking up. And then I'm going to go ahead and a little bit farther away draw another tall oval for the other eye. If you're not sure how far over, we have that trick where we'll put an oval on the side of the head here so we know not to go too far over. right in between those two eyes on the nose line. We'll put that nose. Little wedge of pizza right there, curved on the top, triangular on the bottom. And then from the corner of the nose, I'm just going to sketch in a flattened oval. Betsy, how do you go back to brush control where it controls how thick your brush is? Is there a button for that? Yes. I, mine went from a nice line to just barely little gray lines. And I, and I did the brush control, but it's not listening to me. Got it. For Martha, yours might at the top where it says pencil also says edit. Um, the edit button pencil. Has the size. Yeah, or edit. If you have your pencil tool selected, if it's not selected, it might not be there. Okay. I have a, a pencil icon, but mm -hmm. that little box that says brush preview disappeared on me. I think I hit the X on accident. So I'm wondering how I get that box back. Mine. Oh wait, I got it back. I, I, right. I just moved something with my finger, so, <laughs> okay. And then for Stephanie, what was your problem? It goes gray? Yeah, it's gray. And you're selected on black in the lower left corner? Yeah. Can you share your screen? Is it because you're using well, I'm, I'm trying to fix it, but it's still gray when I try to pick up. Are you color. using the uh, pen, pen, to, pencil tool? Yeah. Oh, uh, you should use pen. Yeah, try pressing a little harder. But if you're like having to grind. No, it I mean like in the brush section. I mean like in the brush section. Section like what brush have you selected? Pencil. But it's harder. Not, but it's uh, you might want to click pen then. Try pen. Okay. Yeah, you can try pen if you do, if it's not uh, dark enough. Go back to sharing my screen then. Pen is nice. Oh, you just, you just gave me a head rush, Betsy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Switching back and forth, I know. Oh, uh, no, it's not the can. best, but. <laughs> I move you and get my screen back. Let's see. I'm going to add just a little shape for the open mouth. Ay, ay, ay. No, 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 no. Wow. Betsy, your your screen took over my whole computer. How do I? Wow. Um, you can try the top view option. Yeah, okay. the yeah top. there we go. There we go. The view option. Singing. <laughs> wow. 
I hear a little baby laugh, so that must be at Martha's house. I was singing. Sorry. No need to be sorry. We no, like sorry. It. We wondered who had a lovely singing voice. Yeah. Oh, jeez. How are we doing? Good to move forward? Do we need help? Um, I've lost my screen. <laughs> You've lost your screen. It sounds like you're in full screen mode, so I'm trying to see how you exit that. Probably hit in the escape key. Does that do anything on your keyboard? Nope. Nope. Let me stop sharing my screen. Let's see if you get your screen back. Yes, I do. Okay. And then in this view, can you shrink the window? It's pretty shrunk. It's already pretty shrunk, but when I share my screen, then it goes and takes over? Yeah, let me... Okay, try it again. Yeah, it takes over. It takes over. That is so weird. Wait, wait, wait. Press escape something. Escape control, I think. There we go. Got it. Okay. We're good to go. All right. Once you guys a little face on here, we're gonna add a little chubby cheek. My face is scary. <laughs> this is just a sketch. It's just a uh, sketch. We'll get better. It's not even close to a sketch. Oh boy. Okay. If all else fails, you just trace over it. It'll be fine. Sure. Okay. It's great. You told us to practice. I have nobody but myself to blame. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to continue going around his eye here, right to that center line. Round that off. So my son is dancing to Japanese music right now. Yeah. And I think my husband needs a break. So I'm going to no problem. Um, I'm going to continue practicing with the program, Betsy, and I'll, I'll try again to come next week. But at least I know what you guys are doing. So yeah, yeah. excellent. And then I'll well, check on my student. So okay. Hopefully she can join us. Yeah. Thank you, Betsy. You're welcome. See you, nice Martha. seeing you. Nice You're seeing welcome. you. Good seeing you, Stephanie. Bye, Mikey. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sometimes your connection, Mickey, makes you sound like a robot and just goes. Yeah. <laughs> so once you got your. Sorry team, about that. No, I was just saying it's one of the things. Sorry uh, about that. Whimsical. Yeah. I'm gonna add some big cheek fur on the side here. Just like when I'm drawing normal, lots of lines. It's the oh, same in the, the cat from that one Looney Tune short. This cat? Yeah, I don't know who it is. This one's from uh, Pinocchio. Uh, oh. There was a saying in the Disney Animation Studios that you want. Clear drawings, not clean drawings. There's a difference. If you can't figure out what's going on in your drawing, maybe work a little cleaner. But if you can see the clarity of what you're trying to do, it doesn't have to be clean. You can have lots and lots of marks. The best ones will shine through. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> And Figaro has this neat little thing where this fur continues up and swirls around to make the inner pink part. So it's a big old, kind of like weird number nine. Maybe not that rounded, maybe a little pointier on top. It swirls right into that fur there. Then we get to draw the outside of the ear around that. Oh, this is one scary dude. Okay. Are 
Are you changing layers at all? Nope, this is all in the same layer. Okay. I'm just gonna add the other ear poking out the other side. Put a little tongue in here, so I'm going to add a little, little bump bump. And oh, hey, Betsy, did you ever watch any more Troll Hunters or not? Nah? I've been finishing up Korra. I don't know if you ever finished uh, Legend of Korra, but I'm in season four finally after I don't know how many years <laughs> since its original air date. Boy, I'm going to have to look her up then. I did the same thing. I, I sort of liked it, but not enough to watch it. Not enough to watch it. <laughs> well, now that they're all on Netflix, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll, I'll give it another shot. So far, it's... Oh, uh, we can't Netflix recently. What's that? Oh, uh, we canceled our Netflix recently. Yeah. I had to cancel some of the other, other ones. Do you know that people can share Netflix and Disney and all that legally up to oh, seven yeah. people. Oh, up to a certain amount of people. That makes sense because honestly, people were going to do it anyway. <laughs> well, you know, I lived in LA. I had the same account, but it was viewing it on a different TV. Yeah. So, our you know, it up, it's legal. Yeah. Oh, our sketch is coming along. Oh, the mine is scary, then I'll get out. I've deleted it twice and it's still scary. Okay, but I'm not touching it now. I'm learning. Okay. Okay. Well, yep, we're just learning the process. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to get a new layer. Actually, no, first I'm going to name my current layer what it is. It is a sketch, just so that I stay organized. Okay. So the, okay, okay, so you just put sketch. Yep, I just wrote sketch. I actually pushed mm -hmm. the right button. Hallelujah. I'm going to get a new layer, which should look like a little piece of paper on the very left of your layer window. Got it. And we're going to name that one line or ink. Something to tell you that this is going to be the final line, not sketch anymore. Okay. And as we can see on our little step two, this is where we switch over to the pen if you haven't already. Some people sketch in pen, some people don't. So I'm going to turn over to my pen. And this is where you might want to turn on your stability, or in Metabang it's called correction, and maybe bump it up to 20 or 40, depending on how much you want it to smooth out your line. Um, I have two pins, two options, a 15 and a 92.9. Probably the smaller one. Mine's at 10 right now. If your okay. sketch is too dark, you can click on the sketch layer and lower the opacity at that little 100% meter, and you can lower it to get it lighter so you can kind of focus on the lines you're going to be drawing on your lines layer. So click on the picture. The uh, right, now that moves it. I don't want to do that. Then lighten it up. Where are you, where are you doing that? Right. I am doing it in the layer window. Layer window, okay. There's opacity. Got it. I see 100%. it. Now. Yeah, and we're just going to play with that little slider until it gets a little bit lighter and not so much in our face. And then be sure to change back to your lines layer when you start drawing your final lines. Go back to your line layer. Mm hmm. Um, and you're finding that your line layer is just where you pick up your color? Should be the layer above your sketch. Let's see if this works.
Nope. <clears throat> Show me where you got your line layer, Betsy. It's in your layer window. Let me drag it front and center here. There should be your little piece of paper where you make your new layers. Yeah. And then you made one and called it line. Right. And then your sketch is the one below it that has your drawing so far. Right. So now we're just going to click over to the lines layer. Got it. And we can put our lines on that line layer. We want them separate so that later I can just delete my sketch and only my black lines will remain. That's why they have to be separated. Right. Okay. And then you just pick it up and do it again. Okay. And then you just start picking your favorite lines from the sketch to make into your final black lines. You'll be hitting control or command Z a lot. Because sometimes the line just doesn't go where you want it to go. And so the quickest way is to just undo it, try again, undo it, try again, undo it, try again, undo it, try again. Okay, so um, I'm trying to draw in the line layer, but my pen is not doing any colors. And I, I've Is picked it. Your color window, like right here, my square is right. black. Did Mine's you... colored. It is a color? Yeah. Hmm. Can you share your screen so I can see what's going on? Yeah. Got your line layer, your sketch layer. Okay, and you got pink, yes. And then when you draw, nothing happens. Uh, maybe there's a tone. Oh. It's because your line layer is only at 16% opacity. Aha. Uh -huh. Back up to 100 all your lines will be visible. And there they come. <laughs> uh, you actually want to sketch oh. layer. Go ahead oh, and click funny. on your sketch layer. Make that one a lower opacity. So it just, you know, doesn't, well, not all the way to the disappears. Yeah, maybe like 20, 50, something like that. Yeah, just so you can still see it. Okay. Click back on your line layer. Okay. Thank and you. So. Uh -huh. Try erasing this or hit undo, right? If you undo, it might turn your layer back to 16%, but you know how to fix that now. So it should yes, be I do. I'll screw it. I'll just do what I'm doing here. That's a tiny line. You can change the size over in the brush control. There should be a number yep. over there or a slider. You can make it thicker and thin.
We're just going to ink all of our lines. That we want to keep. I'm not going to do the plot lines. Stabilizer um, should should be at twenty nine, Betsy. Yeah, twenty good. Anything between okay. twenty and forty is excellent. Okay. One idea I had about learning Japanese, which, mm -hmm. um, what if I, like, I've been thinking, what if I made drawings, like I drew, pic, like I drew a picture of a word, like I wrote it down in Japanese, then like, you know, the way they taught it, you know, like what sounds it makes, and then like what it actually means, and then draw what, what the word, Oh know, yeah, means, that helps then, me a lot when I'm uh, learning Korean. I draw little pictures of apple did that? And I tried it for a little bit, yeah, for um, when I very first started Korean because I had trouble with the alphabet. It's so hard. Kind of words that, you know, started with k, started with k, and started with k. <laughs> uh. So try it. I think it helps your brain remember the words a lot more than just seeing the word apple and then seeing the word ringo, it's not going to be the same as if you're actually kind of repeating your mind, it's a ringo, it's a ringo, and then I actually draw the apple. Yeah, that that makes sense. Yep, it's a good idea. Thanks, I'm Betsy. You're welcome. And dial into the Korean TV. <laughs> well, she's learning Japanese, but definitely Japanese uh, anime will be your best. Yeah, Japanese <laughs> anime, yeah, sorry. Oh yeah, I feel like that actually helped a little bit because I know it's like I remember like some of the words I only remember because I think I've seen anime characters like named you know Shiro and Roku and other words probably. Your brain picks it up whether you know it or not. Yeah, really amazing. What's that Control Seven? Control? What was that you were doing, Betsy? Control Seven. You said you're going to go back and forth like that. Remember when you were erasing, you deleted a line and then... Yeah, it's going to be Control-Z for undo or Command-Z. So anytime you try your line and you up, oh, don't like it, it goes back a step. Try it again. Up, oh, don't like it. Control-Z, Control-Z, Control-Z. <laughs> yeah, maybe Command-Z. Yeah, it might be Command-Z automatic. Uh, it's nothing. I'll erase it. Either that or you can check which one it is in the edit menu, right up at the top where it says undo. It usually gives you the little shortcut keys. Edit menu, edit menu. No, it says undo. Oh, it has a little asterisk. It has a, a plural release, so that's command Z. Okay, got it. Believe it or not. Oh, my scary little cat. Okay. Now, so we got all the lines we want to keep. Now, what do we do? Now, we're going to save our progress. Just in case blackout happens. You don't want to lose your precious work. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to look back at it and say, oh, man, yeah. I've learned a lot. Yeah. So where did you go to save it? I hit, well, for you it'll be command S, I hit control S, but for you it'll be command S. Whoops, what's my tablet doing? Control Z. Save as, mm -hmm. scary cat. Yeah. I'll need my files to throw away later. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they're just yeah, trying. Tag, throw away, yes. Yep. So we don't need our sketch layer anymore. I'm just going to hit the little trash can button and delete it. And it goes away. And then you might notice mine is on um, a checkerboard background, meaning it's clear, it's transparent. 
let's say that's distracting. I don't want that. I'm going to make a new layer and I'll name it paper. Drag it below my lines layer so it doesn't cover up my drawing. And I'll get the color I want for my paper. Make sure that my paint bucket is set to layer, not canvas. And fill that in so I can get rid of my little checkerboard. <laughs> then we're going to make another new layer and we're going to call it, what did I call it? Fill base? Base fill? Base fill, I think. Base. So. And now, now, Betsy, I still see, even though I hit the little dot and it went away, mm -hmm. I still see it on my um, layer bar. On your layer bar. Oh, you just like hit it right here? Yeah. Right. Yeah, those are just like hide. But oh. you haven't deleted it. It's just hiding it. If you want to so. delete it, you click that little trash can at the bottom of the window. Let's see if I see and that'll it. get rid of it for good. I got to open my window a little bit to find it. There it is. Did I get rid of? So I highlighted and mm -hmm. open the thing. Wow, I like that. Yeah, it's so much easier than real life cleaning. So base fill, we could do it the hard way where we get our pen and we get our fill color and we just start coloring it in like but this is digital art there's always a faster way what we're going to do is get our magic wand tool should look like a little magic wand like with little sparks at the end click on your lines layer magic and wand. Click on the background where did you get your magic wand over in the toolbar it looks like a little stick that's on fire like a little piece of dynamite got it so I click that and click on the background of my artwork and you can see that only part of my drawing got filled in blue. That's not what I want. That's not great. So where it says, uh, I think, close the gap, you can control how much you want it to pretend these gaps here don't exist. So I'm going to put that all the way to the top. On Fire Alpaca, I think it is... Yeah, I get to use. Close the gap. Okay, I found that. Yeah, close the gap. I put a check mark and then I can have lots of view. Yeah, okay. the plus marks. Yeah, you can tell it how strong it is. So okay. then I'm going to click on my background and I want my whole cat head to be blue. Oh, that worked. Excellent. So actually, how, did you, what how did you do that, Betsy? You got close. the magic got, wand? Yeah, um, I did, yes. And then up at the top, there's a little checkbox for closed gaps. What's it look like? I don't have that. Let's it see. Looks like this Let me expand it here. Closed gaps. Yep, yeah, I see yeah. that. Hold on. Check that little box. And then there's a little pull down menu that shows you a whole bunch of plus signs. This is telling you how strong it is. So you want it to be the strongest it can be. Okay. Then you're going to click on the background, not the cap, the background. Okay. And it should, hopefully, fingers crossed, just leave your cat face in blue. Or whatever color your highlight color is. Um, no, mine still has the pox. Okay, let's see here. That's okay. Let's just say mine does too. Let me go and change my thing a little weaker here. Oh, we are still. Well, let me share my screen so you can see. Sure. You cannot start share screen while other Okay, fine. Yeah, I had to shut down mine first, so then you can go ahead and do yours. <laughs> oh, just shoot a little bit. Shoot your command Z. Keep going if it doesn't seem to change. Or how about this? Hit Command D to deselect. X as in xylophone or? D like dog. 
She's on okay. the color layer, which might be the wrong layer to be on to do anything. Yeah, it might be. Okay. Um, go to yeah, you can go up to the top menu to the select and then deselect. You said select? Yeah, the select menu. Okay. And then deselect. There we go. Yeah. You are going to click on your line layer at the bottom there. You're going to get your magic wand tool, which you have. Excellent. And then on yours where it says expand, and there's a little arrow going to the right up at the top there. Did you already set up your closed gap? Yes, but let's double check. See, there we go. Yep. So where it says that one little plus sign in a pull down menu, yeah, you want I the strong. It's being temperamental. Oh, I hate, those, yeah. I hate those menus that disappear right as you're about to click on it. That's right. Yeah, they go away. And then they go away. Let's see. No. No, no. Oh, you've got it, I think. Let me try it. I'll use my mouse. Oh, so close. <laughs> no. Now are you correct? Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I know there's always these like small celebrations right yeah. <laughs> So go ahead and click on the background, not the cat itself. Oh shoot. Control Z. Yeah, it's okay. You can do control Z or uh control D. Okay. And then click on the background. There oh. it is. So I'm gonna stay on your screen and do this part. You're gonna go back up to select. The top menu where it's a where you deselected before, you're gonna to go to select an inverse because we actually want the chat. To be oh. Yeah. Okay. Then you're going to switch to your color layer. Oh yes. I don't have a color layer. I have a base oh, fill. Oh, I'm layer. sorry, the base fill. That's what I need. The base fill layer or whichever one you're gonna put your colors on. Yes. Over on you your layer your window. Oh. Yeah, switch the layer so that you don't draw on your lines. We want your lines to stay as they are. Right. Okay. okay. And then you're going to go to your paint bucket tool. Paint bucket. Okay. You fill this key up. Okay. Got it. And you can actually just hit your insert key on your keyboard or you can click it whichever way you want to do it. Insert or insert. Actually, okay. I like the insert because it guarantees. It does it all. Yeah. Yeah, if you do it one at a time. <laughs> where, where Where is the insert uh, key? Just on, just on your actual keyboard. Like mine's next to the delete key, the end key, the home key. And the key. Nope. No, there's an insert on a Mac? Okay. We'll go ahead and go to... I can share my keyboard. Can you see it? <laughs> no, no, it's too slow. I can't see, but I believe you. But no, but I maybe you'd see it. Uh, options, Alt. Yeah. Is, do you have like a page up, page down key? Yes. You just over in that cluster. Mine's on a zero key of my 10 key. Oh, it might be over on your... Thank you. But if we can't find the keyboard, fine, we'll do it another way. That's the other great thing about digital art. There's five or six ways to do the same thing. I have one with a sun on it. Do you think that means it? That's no. probably your monitor brightness. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so we're going to go to your paint bucket tool, which you still have. Excellent. And yes. up at the top where it says reference and it's saying canvas, we want to change that to layer. So we're going to go up to where it says canvas. Oh. And then change it to layer. What does that mean? Canvas means it'll stop the color whenever it runs into anything on the canvas, but we're trying to tell it, no, ignore my lines and fill in everything on this layer. So go ahead and click right inside of your key. With any old color, yep. Whoa. Nope, that's good. You're just going to drag that layer three below your line. One more time, so it'll stick. Usually, there's that little blue line 
that appears and we're going to leave it right there. There we go. Then you can deselect again. You can go up to the select menu and deselect. Oh, deselect. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know there's so many terms. No, no, that's okay. I was, my brain went back up to the reference line. Okay. I'm going to catch up and get to where you are online. Let me go ahead and share my screen again because that was the hardest part and you got through it. <laughs> <laughs> you always say it's the hardest part and somehow I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the next one. <laughs> yeah, then there's the next hardest part. But now green head. Or I have a little green head. Got green and blue heads and, and everything here. Let me get mine. Insert. All right. There we go. So everybody should oh, be yeah. somewhere here. Kristen's. What's that? Kristen's going. Uh, <laughs> yes. So we can just color over this color, but I prefer to get a new layer just in case something goes wrong. I want to save my base fill layer for later. So usually there's a little lock box up on your uh, layers window. Lock is exactly what it sounds like. We're going to lock this layer so we can't do anything to it, not by accident or anything. There should be a little padlock to show you that, yes, indeed, it is locked. I'm going to get a new layer, and I'm going to name this one local color. You can name it anything you want, real colors, kitty, 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 anything you want. And we're going to revisit this interesting thing where if I have my layer, which is on top of my base fill layer, if it's underneath, this won't work. It has to be on top of my base fill layer. And if I were to just color, it would go all over the place. But if you hit the clipping box, it will snap to whatever is beneath it. So again, there's without my clipping, just a regular layer on top. If I click that box, it should snap to the base fill layer. Why is that important? Because when we start to fill in our real colors, let's say I'm going to make my kitty brown, which would be in the red and orange. And let's say I'm going to start coloring my kitty. I would have to try to be careful, like, oh, I don't want to go outside the edges if this was not clipped. I'd be going like, oh, no, I went outside the line. This makes it so that can absolutely not happen. You will have to stay within your line. So Why would you just use that fill thing, fill the gaps? Fill the for gaps? That, for that one area. For which one area? Like, if it missed the spot? Yeah, well, if you fill the gaps, you make the kitty all brown, right? No. Like yeah. That one? yeah, that's what we That have. one is controlled by the layer in the canvas. So that's oh, okay. a great part to show. If I turn this to canvas and I try to color this brown, it's going to stop at that line because it sees it on the canvas. That's, that's what you want it to do, right? Yes. But okay. let's say I wanted to color the whole thing. I would need to change it to layer so that the only layer it's seen is this one. So now it would go ahead and fill the whole thing, the whole layer. So that's the difference between your canvas and your layer settings here. It's kind of a new thing. Photoshop never had this, so I'm always forgetting to turn it to which part I need. To. <laughs> so I'm just going to separate off the part that I want brown. You can just fill it with the paint bucket if you want. That works too. I'm not too concerned about staying within the lines over here because I'm going to have to color the face anyway. So no need to stress. Whoops, why did that happen? Because <gasps> I was on layer. And I didn't. Now where where did you find that up there? Are you are you on your pen tool and you I'm have on my paint bucket tool when that's there? Oh, paint bucket. So if you do oh yeah okay and I and we want to go to layer rather than canvas. We want layer, but here's okay. the problem I'm experiencing where it's supposed to be on layer, but it fills in the whole thing. Ooh. and I don't want that. Well, part of it is because if you see in the clipping, I haven't closed off my shape, even though it looks like it. So 
So I have to close off this shape, fill it in. Now when I clip it, it'll snap into those lines. Oh, I understand. Mine just just in case you run thing. into that problem. It's not that you have to follow those steps. It's just like, oh, if you have this problem, here's how to fix it. If I want to do the pink inside the ear, let's say I get a lighter color here. This one I do have to be careful with the lines, or you can just, like you said, get the paint bucket, turn it to canvas so that it'll stop at the black lines, and boom, you're done. Oh, okay, that's cool. Then let's say I want the face to be white. I can pop that. Oops. Go to layer. Then I'll have to clean up some of these edges or long. Ah! Sorry. That's okay. There's about five more minutes to play around. I encourage you to at least fill in the colors. Have some practice with just nose, eyes, mouth. If we don't finish in class, something we could do. You touched the back end of that thing and it's, it makes the whole canvas that color. And the best part is, if you didn't get it today, we're going to do the exact same thing next week. <laughs> Different thing, but same process. In fact, I did not set up my poll for this week, I don't think. Look how cute that is. Look how <laughs> freaky mine is. <laughs> uh, oh, well. It's a learning curve. At least Any it's... Suggestions for next week's character? We do the same thing until we get it right. <laughs> oh boy. We did do the little thing this time where we expanded. No, I skipped that step for simplicity's sake. <laughs> that was good because we can learn that next week. What? When we were doing our magic wand thing. Yeah. And it will typically, let's see if I zoom in and you guys can see here. It'll stop right at the edge of the line and sometimes it'll leave little white dots that people don't like. So uh -huh. then we go to our select, and when we inverse to bring that line in the middle of my black lines, I can expand it. Or is it contract? Let's see. We'll find out. Yep, other way. We'll bring it in the middle of the black line, and it'll like guarantee you it won't have any white dots. But since most of us were just practicing, don't think these are going in the art show. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> we <didn't have> that. <laughs> not if you're. There we go. You never know. Some of these really, the ones you start messing with, you'll never be able to do that kind of freaky stuff again once you get the hang of it. <laughs> 